Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can get task colors, i.e. this task color here, blue, to automatically change when a resource is added. So if Ben is added to this, I want it to go to a particular color for Ben, same for Bill, and same for Bob. Now to do this, there's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, I need to use the flag feature, the flag field, to trigger each of these. So let's go and do that. Double, -click, double clicking on the white, coming down to create myself three flags. So I'll call it Bob, Bill, and Ben. So these are the colors that I want these to be. So let's go for a color of green, a color of amber, and a color of blue for these three people. Now I need to use the flag field, so I'm typing flag, flag one for that one, flag two for this one, and then flag three For the last one well that's okay so that's the first thing you do click okay to that now if i just the way this works if i just insert the flag column flag one column to show you that one flag one so if i put that to yes it changes that to that color and put that back to no and just leave that like that for a minute now I want that to happen, I can do that manually, and I've done a video already where you, you can just do this and it goes to that colour. But somebody pointed out to me that if you have a lot of different resources, that's a bit of a clunky way of doing it. So there is another way you can do it, and it's using a custom field and an IIF function. So I'm going to do that, right clicking up top there, custom fields. And I'm going to the flag. Flag option, so flag 1. I'm going to rename that Bob. So it's going to be Bob. And then I'm going to use the formula option, function, general, IIF. Get rid of all of that. So if, and I'm going to fields, resource names, resource names. So I'm going to text and then resource names equals in quotes Bob comma that needs to be yes comma or no and then that would change the flag to yes so if I click OK to that OK again that's that one done so if I do the same one for flag two I just need to remind myself I'll just click OK to that for a second who's flag two if we're just going to this one, Bill is flag two, so let's do that one, back in there, custom fields, flag, flag two, rename, Bill, okay, functions, formulas, general if, and then same thing, get rid of all that, field, text, resource names is equal to bill, spell it right, two L's, bill, it's got to go, got to go inside quotes, comma, yes, otherwise no, okay to that one, okay again, and then this one's going to be renamed as Ben, Ben, OK, formula, function, general, IIF, get rid of all the gubbins, go to field, text, resource names, equal to Bill, not Bill, Ben, done Bill, equal to Ben, comma, yes, comma, no. Okay to that one, okay again, okay again. 
Okay, so already got Bob in there. Now, if I attach these resources, you can see already they've changed colour automatically. So if I do a task D one day, it's the normal dark blue colour. If I type Bob onto that, it should go green. It does. If I type Bill onto that, it should go yellow. It does. And lastly, if I type Ben, it should go light blue, which it does. So now I don't need this column, Bob. Let's get rid of this column. Because as soon as I allocate somebody, that will change to that colour. Task E. Two day task, and we'll have Bill doing that. So, this is more of a, a, an automated way of getting the colours to change. So, the steps were first of all, you go into format your bar styles. So, you come down to the bottom there, you create your names for the columns, the colours that you want, the flag fields that you're going to use. Then, once you've done that, you go into custom fields and flags and then you rename them you don't have to rename them but you do need to do the formulas so it will automatically trigger so resource name field if it equals bob or one of these names yes it goes to yes so it's changing the flag field to yes which is then going to trigger that color click ok to that and ok again so hopefully this little video has been of use. As I said before, I've already done one where you're manually changing the, the flag fields to yes. This one's slightly better. And it is designed for resources where there is just one resource type to a task. So it could be, instead of Bob, Bill and Ben, it could be plumbers, electrician, stuff like that. So that's who's doing that task. It's a plumbing task. It's an electrician's task, etc. So hopefully this little video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.